so it's now been done transfer window is closed and look we'll sign him with San Jorginho you guys already know my finish towards that you know I don't like it I've been seeing your comments you know you guys have been saying that you know he's a pre-proven he's a winner he's got experience and it's valid points but in terms of what we need in terms of that replacement potential replacement for Partey I don't think he's that man um, and look I'm seeing a lot of fans on Twitter Arsenal fans in particular obviously that are trying to act like this was a good move you know if he had told us if he had told an Arsenal fan three days ago that we're going to get Jorginho especially especially when we had a £60 million bid you know put forward to Brighton for Casado you would have absolutely laughed your head off bro you know Chelsea just have gone and signed Enzo Fernandez within the dying minutes of the transfer window backing now let's see how that all pans out do you know what I mean because that one is enough for Story. And if they flop, that would be the biggest comical transfer fails I've ever seen in my life. But, you know, people are, are rating this like a, like a 6 out of 10. Really? Really? You know, you got to remember that where we are at the state of the season a lot. Like, I think it's because of the fact, you know, we haven't won the Premier League or at least challenged it for such a long time I feel like people have forgotten where we actually are bro Arsenal are five points clear of Manchester City with a game in hand this is amazing we're now in February you know happy new month but we're in February and we've got this opportunity and this was the opportunity to really strengthen our squad and we haven't We've basically done an Aston Villa transfer business for a title race, for a title challenge. Imagine, imagine now, yeah, imagine Arsenal, imagine I said to you, okay, a club was going to sign Jorginho, Trossard, and um, that Polish brother, the centre back. You would, you would not associate that with Arsenal, you just wouldn't, don't lie. This is not matching their ambitions, bro. Like, you can't, you, we can't just, we can't act like this is not real. Like, this is okay. It's not, bro. It's not. Those three players that I've, 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 I've brought up, you would not say that this is a, a team or club that is, has ambitions to win the title by May. It's not, man. And I'm so sorry. Like, I'm going to give this. If I was rating this transfer window out of 10, I'm giving this a three. I don't care. you got to think about... You can't just keep dangling, especially since... You can't, especially since, like, Arsenal haven't been... Recently, just been very open about who they want. To the journalists, to fans, everybody... You can't just expressively say, I want to get Mudder, can then lose it to Chelsea. You know? You can't just say you want to say they have two bids and then not go for the killer. Like, it's just... It's, it's, I said it in my last video. It's just, you really... With Eddie, the board, all the people that are involved in transfers at Arsenal have really, really failed him. He is a phenomenal manager. And like I said, if we win this Premier League despite despite this transfer window, and it's been absolutely shambolic. Like we have to, I wouldn't this is honestly. I can't I don't think you guys understand how bad this transfer window was. Like, look. Trossa looks good. Yeah? But is he really going to take the place of Martinelli? No. And I know people are going to be like, this is just for 
squad building. They're not going to start a game. But I want a team that every single player can step up to the first team. You know, how many times have we complained about the European League games and how we're like, our B team is so dead, our B team is so dead because of contract. These are not the... We want that. We want competition. Will the, I mean, look, we haven't seen any of them play. This is true. That's granted. So, you know, we have, we have to see that happen. But on paper, bro, come on, man. You know what I mean, guys? Come on. I, I, you guys should not be accepting this. This is unacceptable. It really is, man. And if we don't win the league now, um, in May, we're going to look back at this moment and how we, we fumbled two, basically, transfer targets. Like, we have... Honestly, guys, I don't think you guys understand, man. Like, like look. Look, I just want to say this real quick. Real quick. As much as I don't like our transfer window, our, win, our business this, 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 this month, I'm always going to back the players. I'm not going to go around and start boring Jorginho or Trossard, you know? Like, obviously, Trossard is a good player. But I've seen him play well already, you know? But I'm not going to boo my players. Because as much as I can come out here, on here, and talk about my disdain for our transfer window, at the end of the day, they have signed the paper. They are now Arsenal boys. And there's nothing I can do about that. So... I'm going to back them, you know? The one thing you guys need to know about me is that I love Arsenal more than life itself. So I will never try and put an agenda above my love. It's, it's, it's unacceptable. And anyone that does that needs to have a hard look, hard look in the mirror because you're not an Arsenal fan if you're putting your agenda above your club. You're not. And I want judging to succeed. I want to be proven wrong. I love it. Prove me wrong. Because ultimately, it's fortuitous to my football club that I love the most. You know what I mean? But I do have to express it because that's what I have a voice for. That's why we have social media. That's why everyone's connected because we all want to hear each other. And I do have to say here or now that at this moment of time, I am not happy with Arsenal Football Club. I'm not happy with Eddie. I'm not happy with the board. Because the targets that we've ended up with, that didn't end up with... And then the ones that we had, we compare the two and think about it, man. Especially, especially, especially with the fact that we have a title challenge ahead. A massive, massive title charge and a great opportunity to win it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. I will say though, I'll end it here. Jorginho. Welcome to the biggest club in London. Um, I really hope you proved me wrong, bro. I can't honestly, I really do. Because um, like I said, I love this club more than anything. And I want to be proven wrong. I hope all the signings that Arteta has done proves me wrong. And like I said, man, if we win this title at the end of the season, then he is the greatest manager of all time. I don't care. I really don't care. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal. But yeah, I'll leave it there. Please like, subscribe, all of that, all of that. Appreciate the love lately. Share it. If you have a comment, comment, you know. Um, if you have something to say, say it. I don't mind. I want to hear you guys' opinions, you know. That's all what social media is about, is to hear each other out, you know. If you disagree with me, I, I hear that. I hear that. But only time will tell. And I hope, for the sake of my club and the love of my, I have for my club that I am proven wrong to the highest degree. I want Chelsea to give Jorginho <laughs> a god of honour, fam. Big man thing, fam. I really want that. So, you know, I hope I get proven wrong. Honestly, I really do. But, you know, I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's hope I'm, I'm wrong. Arteta, do your thing, innit? You know exactly what we need. So, yeah. Please like, subscribe, all of that, all of that, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Take care.